So I haven't been home very long and I thought I would get some food together and what better way to get your food than a little bit of entertainment thing, right? Yeah, here at YouTube. A uh, video caught my eye, <clears throat> a video caught my eye called uh, Matt Walsh Explores the Bisexual versus Pansexual War. Now, I know what both of these terms mean, bisexual, pansexual, but I haven't seen this video in full. Um, I commented already, but we'll, I'll get to that here in a bit. Um, I'm three minutes in, uh, but I want to start over. Um, but we're going we're gonna to react to this. This is uh, Off Topic Episode 2. Let's react to Matt Walsh Explores the Bisexual versus Pansexual. Ready? Be fun! So, as you know, LGBT people are very oppressed, so incredibly oppressed and persecuted in this country. Uh, but at the same time, the LGBT acronym keeps expanding because people are so desperate to, to, to invent some new LGBT identities so that they could be a part of the club, so that they could be, you know, involved as well. Uh and Matt Walsh is completely in the dark on this. Matt Walsh is completely in the dark because he's treating this as if it's a new thing. It's been around for ages. Pansexuality has been known as a thing, to be a thing, for ages now, okay? This is not a new thing, Matt Walsh. Your video came out June 17th, 2021. This is not a new thing. You're just coming to the surface of consciousness to do this. Um, or to bolster their resume within the club, they'll, they'll make up new identities to be a part of it. See, I've never heard of an oppressed group that functions exactly like that. Like, can you think of any historical example of a, of a group that's persecuted, and meanwhile, people who aren't in the persecuted group are actually pretending to be in it just to get themselves a dose of that sweet persecution? Help, help, I'm being repressed! I can't think of any example of that historically. I don't think, so this, this is unprecedented. Um, and the other possible explanation is that LGBT people aren't persecuted at all, so I'll let you d determine. What? No. Anyway, as part of this expansion, we now have something called pansexuality. And pansexuality is a really uh, sought after identity these days. It's one of the newest things, hot off the presses. People are, uh, are really into it. Celebrities are coming out as No, 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 no. It's not new. It's not new. You're just an older guy that doesn't focus on these things. Who is just now hearing about it and wants to make comment on it? Pansexual, uh, left and right, everyone is pansexual all of a sudden. So that raises a question, which is what the hell is a pansexual? What the hell are you? Well, a pansexual, as far as I understand it, is someone who's attracted to either sex. But isn't that the same as a bisexual? Well, you might think so. By technicality, yes. By technicality, yes. Apparently not. They, they, we're told these are two different things. Um, how are they different? What's the distinction? Well, to answer that question, I think we have to go back to consult. Me. Talk to me. Because I can tell you without, without pretending I'm cute or something. The wise sages of a TikTok who are experts on many things, but especially on um, all sexual matters, and uh, we've got a few videos here kind of explaining what pansexuality is. I gotta tell you though, TikTok is like, it's like the point where all of the self-expression that people could muster just comes to a fucking point. This is why I don't like TikTok. Everyone that, that gets on TikTok and makes a fucking video thinks they need to be showing us their self-expression. Not everyone needs, and this is why I don't go on fucking TikTok. Because not everyone needs to see your annoying fucking self-expression. There's too many wannabe fucking comedians there. Too many people making jokes that don't actually fucking land for shit. Too many people just, there's no, no limits, right? There's just, they just go off the fucking rails. And they wonder why people will, will say TikTok fucking sucks. Like, people are coming around to it, right? Uh, I may be in the minority to do with this, but people just your so your self expression is not necessary. No one needs to know that you you can express yourself. We already know that because you exist. Okay, 
Uh, I'm gonna move on, but I just, I had to get that out. It's like, all of the worst parts of self-expression, minus all of the super illegal shit, just came to a fucking point where the climax was here, but when, when they reached the climax, no one fucking came. It, it's a fucking pointless climax. I don't need a con- I don't need to be involved, however deep I am, in a conference, a fucking, uh, a convention of people just making noise and making faces and thinking that they deserve the millions of views that they have. People just want entertainment. I get that. They just want to be entertained. But then you have the other fucking people on TikTok that will, you know, prance about with little infographic images behind them or whatever saying, look, this is my train of thought that you should adopt because I'm smarter than you. TikTok fucking sucks. And how it's different from bisexuality. And I thought this was just a good. Yeah, in a moment, we're going to see a bubbly loser talk. It's a good learning opportunity for all of us. So let's, uh, let's start watching the videos. Bi versus pan in 30 seconds or less. Seriously, fuck this woman. She could fuck herself. Papper Campo, fuck yourself. Because this bitch. Oh my god. People try to inform others. And then what they fucking do. What they do here is. They misinform people while trying to inform people. She has no clue what the fuck she's talking about. And you're gonna see, because when I tell you what pansexual and bisexual means, you'll understand. These people need to shut their fucking mouth. I don't care how much uh, you think you look like a fucking Disney character, keep your fucking mouth shut if you sound like a fucking idiot, which this person does. Bisexuality is the ability to feel emotionally, physically, or even sexually attracted to more than one gender. This can be two, four, six, eight, or even all of them. This can be with or without a preference. Pansexuality is the ability to feel attraction regardless of someone's gender or sex or gender expression. Also explained as the ability to feel attraction to all genders without a preference. Pansexual thing has less to do with attraction to humans than you might think. Look, I made you a chart. <laughs> what? Okay, so so they're literally just the same thing. They These people are fucking retarded. People are dumb as shit. Again, they try to inform you only to misinform you. They have no clue what they're fucking talking about. Am I having a seizure or something? Or didn't she just repeat herself? It's exactly the same thing. Sorry, wait, no, 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 no. Bi is the, the ability to be attracted to anyone of any gender. And pan is the ability to be attracted to anyone regardless of gender. I think that's the distinction she made. Oh, by the way, no. She was wrong even on the bisexuality thing. She was wrong even there. Because it's called bisexual. Two. Two genders. Bisexuals are not attracted to transgendered people. They're not. Some can be, but by its very definition, they're not. Oh, he sounds like a fucking igot. He sounds like a fucking weird, phobic type. No, I'm a bisexual, okay? I don't have preference for anyone unless they are either a male or a female. If you transition... Okay, there's a lot to do with that, it's whatever, but no, not more than two genders. Bisexuals are attracted to two genders maximum, okay? I don't care if you think you can have your fantasy setting where there's quadrillion to the quadrillionth power fucking genders and shit. I don't care if that's, that's what you think. The point is, bisexuality concerns only men and women bisexual do you just do these people just not understand how language works words are spelled a certain way for a reason okay what the fuck is wrong with these fucking idiots oh they have a tiktok that's what's wrong with them and they think their tiktok should enable them to say things that no one should have to fucking hear again this is why i'm not on tiktok tiktok could fuck itself uh, you, you see it? You see the distinction? Um, me neither. I, I don't see it either. Um, because there isn't one. You know, it's just two. No, Matt. Let's, let's hear you again. 
regardless of gender. I think that's the distinction she made. Uh, you, you see it? You see the distinction? Um, me neither. I, I don't see it either. Um, because there isn't one. Yeah, there is. Yes, there is. Matt? Yes, there is. Matt, it, maybe she didn't make a distinction. She's not capable because she has no idea what she's talking about. However, Matthew. Matt Walsh, whatever. Matthew Walsh, whatever. There is a distinction. You're just unaware of it. You know, it's just two words for the same thing. No. And there's a lot of that in the LGBTQ XYZ acronym, a lot of the same thing repeating over and over again. Same for the 192 genders. It, it's just sort of like the same thing over and over again because in reality, there are only two. Fascist. But um, I don't know. I, maybe she just did a bad job of explaining it. So let's, uh, let's, let's watch another. She did a fucking terrible job. Terrible job. Pansexual and bisexual are the same thing. You just got to get over these years of... No, they're not. No, they're not. Absolutely not. No, they are not. Look at me. Look at me. No, they are not the same thing. They are not the same thing. This is why I start to get angry about this shit, right? Because you have... Countless people looking at stupid people like this person in the previous one Listening to these people and going yeah, that makes no it doesn't make fucking sense because it's not true This is not fucking correct What how just uh uh You're gonna speak on things you don't even understand and then put on this face of confidence like I shouldn't slap you with my hand Unreal dude Content. I don't know what the CC is. Content. I don't know. Pansexual, bisexuals are the same thing. They're not. Figure over these years have turned. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Inter <laughs> I gotta get over my years of internalized biphobia. I was bi for literally three years until I realized that I'm pan. If you don't know, this video is directed at me. So hey, bae, thanks for the even more clout than I already have. I'll Look at this fucking dipshit going on. I I just really want to hear what this creature has to say about buy and, and fucking pan this set the other thing. So the likes to comment ratio already. I mean, just the unearned confidence. This face where she thinks she knows what she's going on about and she fucking doesn't. More than likely. More than fucking likely. Let me explain bisexuality and pansexuality to you because you obviously need a lesson. Bisexuality versus pansexuality for dummies. Here we go. Bisexuality. Oh, I think that girl's attractive. Oh, I think that guy's attractive. Oh, I think that non-binary person's attractive. No. Nope. 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 There is no non-binary anything involved. Bisexuality is just man, woman. That's all they care for. If you're a bisexual, and you claim that you are attracted to a non-binary person, you're not a bisexual. You're not. You are not a bisexual if you are attracted to man, woman, and anything beyond male and female. You're not a bisexual. Pansexuality. Oh, I think that person's attractive. Oh, they're a girl? Okay. Oh, I think that person's attractive. Oh, they're non-binary? Okay. Oh, I think that person's attractive. Oh, they're a guy? Okay. Keep going. Keep going. You have an endless list to go through now. Keep going. Keep going. No, no, no. You're not done. What's your fucking... What is his face? God. AirPods of all things, too. Ugh. Ugly earrings there. Jesus fucking Christ. No. Oh, God. I can't even look at this face. It's so ugly. Just ignorant. Ignorance. Do you get it? I, you know, what I get is that you're a fucking idiot. And you're talking about something that you don't even fucking understand. You do not understand this conversation, and you've injected yourself into this conversation because you have something to say, and you should just keep the fuck quiet because you do not know what you are talking about. Bye. Again, bye. Bye. I'm sorry, there's... Does a bicycle have three wheels? Does a bicycle have three wheels? No, it doesn't. That's called a tricycle. Stupid people. 
Let me talk to young people and get them confused about life. This fucking person's a cancer, is what they are. They are a cancer unto creation. Because they talk like they're worth the time when it comes to a school session, right? They talk like they should be at the front of the class instructing people, and all they do is spout fucking ridiculous bullshit. Ridiculous bullshit. This person is clueless. You can tell because they're young. Bisexuality. Attraction to more than one gender. Pansexuality. Attraction to two genders maximum. Okay, I will humor the idea of there being more than 10 billion goddamn genders. Okay, I will humor that, that idea, that fantasy, right? I will humor it. Two maximum. No more, no less. Two minimum. That's it. No more, no less. Two. Fixed number. Fixed number. Fixed number. Attraction to anyone, regardless of gender, it's mainly... Yeah, attraction to anyone. Incomplete sentence, though. Incomplete. Feelings based and personality based. Thanks for the panphobia. Thank you. No one's scared of pansexuals. Shut the fuck up. Phobia. Phobic. Fear of. No one is scared of fucking losers on TikTok like this fucking person. First of all, what is it on TikTok with the uh, with the cackling they're always doing? <laughs> these girls on TikTok. I don't want to make any assumptions, but these girls on TikToks, they, 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 they're always uh, cackling. I'm not sure what that is exactly. And why do they always edit the video so that it cuts out the last word they said before the end? But anyway, panphobia, she says. Yeah. That, that's just, Matt's a funny motherfucker, man. Look, look at this, listen to this shit. I'm not sure what that is exactly. And why do they always edit the video? <laughs> so that it cuts out the last word they said before the end. But anyway, panphobia, <laughs> she says. Yes, we have panphobia now. There are people out there who have a phobia of pansexuals, apparently. I mean, sure, yeah, I run into this thing all the time. I, I, haven't we all seen people running through the streets? Oh, no, the pansexuals are coming. It's a pansexual. On second thought, I haven't run into that at all because um, nobody can have a phobia of pansexuals because that's a made-up thing. It's like being afraid of a pansexual is like being afraid of Peter Pan. It, it's, it's an imaginary thing. But let's keep going here. Maybe we could find a video that makes sense of all of this. And um, I'm already just looking at the image here, and I feel like this is a per. I mean, she looks cool. I like her look, but I mean, the just the context of this person existing in this video is the funniest thing. Person who can illuminate and enlighten us all. Let's watch. Guess what? F my patience has run out. Pansexuality is not inherently biphobic. No one is scared of people anymore based on their fucking sexuality. The majority of people aren't. Right? There are some people out there like, oh, I'm gay, gay people scare me. I'm afraid they're going to rape me. Like, there are people that actually fucking think this. I do. I do. But no one is fucking scared of these people. And the people that are scared of these people are fucking losers. And you don't count them anyway. You don't count losers amongst your winners. Okay? The winners are the ones that aren't phobic of fucking people who have a sexual identity. Okay? Or have a fucking identity. Cut the sexual part. Just like that. Okay? Like, to do with sexuality, identity. No one of note. No one of worth. I shouldn't say no one of worth. That's rude. That's really rude. I apologize. No one of note. And I guess even that's wrong too. No one should be scared of this shit. Okay, that's, just, that's what I'm saying. I want I want to be accurate with the things that I say. So I'm trying not to say things that are dishonest. Like no one is, no one of note is scared of. I don't want to be that that guy. I'm not trying to. to... Hey, we're getting distracted. I gotta hear this person talk because this is this is probably gonna be an illumination feat like you wouldn't believe. I'm hoping it is because I'd like to hear at least one of these creatures make some fucking sense. They are both valid sexualities. Both of them. And they are. And they are. They are. Of them. 
And while yes, I have seen pansexual people use that label for questionable reasons, they pretty quickly get it once you explain things to them. They do. And not only that, but do you know who likes to use specific or micro labels? Neurodivergent people. Sometimes we just have to do whatever we can to feel safe and comfortable. And using a more specific label can be our outlet for that. If you took all that energy you spend calling people biphobic and saying they're performing bi erasure and just educated them, there would be less biphobia. There would be less bi erasure because you've explained it. No, no, there fucking wouldn't. Because let me tell you something. The people that harp on this fucking stupid bullshit about gender and everything else, like any of it fucking matters to anyone. These same people are saying, oh, bisexuality is, is fucked up. It's bigoted because it's all, it only concerns male and female as being a gender. And they don't want to expand their horizons. Blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. You fucking idiot. No. Just because you explain shit doesn't mean all the social justice bullshit goes away. It, does, it doesn't do that. That's not how this... You know how badly I wish it did fucking work like that? My kingdom for a compromise, for fuck's sake. This whole biphobic shit, bi shit, this is not going to go away so long as social justice permeates the social square. Okay? So much as the forum is littered with people who want to waste their fucking time talking about stupid shit like sexuality, like any of it fucking matters in the goddamn first place. These people go on and on. They don't care. They don't care for your peace or your serenity. They don't care. They want to be in your goddamn fucking ear all the goddamn time. Okay? Okay. This person has no... I'm, I'm already getting bad vibes. This person has no idea what they're talking about. They take all the weird biphobic shit goes... All the bi erasure shit goes away. Just because you can explain some shit. That's not how that works. You naive fuck. You naive motherfucker. That's not how this works at all. Because your kind... When I say that, I mean, social justice warriors, people who screech about sexuality, they will not shut the fuck up about there being more than a million goddamn goddamn genders. And because they won't shut up about it, they will always have bisexuals on their mind going on and on, on and on about how bisexuals are problematic because bisexuals only concern two genders of the total blah blah blah. These people are fucking losers, okay? And people will know the difference. I have had it with you guys jesus f that was a uh, safety pin in his hers that individual's face right that was a safety pin that's what i thought anyway uh pansexuality is not inherently biphobic did you hear that pansexuality is not inherently biphobic and this settles the age-old debate i think it was uh it was in fact uh, aristotle who was the first to postulate that pansexuality is not inherently biphobic so i'm glad that we've established that he also says that we need to, or rather, uh, the, the individual, so I, I honestly really have no idea, but this person says that we need to fight by erasers. I'm not sure what a by eraser is. It might be the kind that erases both pencil and pen. I'm not sure. Somehow I'm just feeling more confused the more that we watch. Let's try one more to see if uh, maybe this will finally... Is he going to play the video that I'm recording right now? Oh, I fucking hope so if he wants some answers. Make everything make sense for us. What's the difference between omnisexual and pansexual? Omnisexual people like all... What's the difference between omnisexual and pansexual? Omnisexual people like all genders, while pansexual people like people based on their personality. No. No. It's fucking wrong. It's wrong. It's in fucking correct. Oh my god. So yes, they both like all genders. It's just... I can't stare at Raven Simone over here, man. This bitch, I swear. Uh... But gender is more relevant to omnisexual people than pansexual people. Most of the time, pansexual people are blind to gender, while most of the time, omnisexual people are not blind to it. Comment any genders or sexualities you want me to explain and compare. Life for part five. So now we got, now we have omnisexual too. 
So we got bisexual, pansexual, omnisexual, all to describe people who are attracted to either gender or regardless of gender or inclusive of gender or in spite of gender or whatever. This cannot possibly get more redundant or arbitrary or absurd. I'm demisexual. I only feel sexual attraction. I'm not fucking putting up with this. I'm not fucking putting up with this. I'm not fucking putting up with this. No. Fuck you. Fuck you. Want the, you want the definition of pansexuality? Here it is. I just wrote this earlier. I'm not kidding. This is the definition. I'm not fucking kidding. This is it. Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud coined the term. It means attraction to all things, including the dead. Including your mother. Including your fucking motor oil canister. Including my mustache. And everything that could ever fucking exist. That's what it fucking means. That's what it's always meant. But no, it's buried under countless nonsensical fucking grants and bullshit from people who don't know a fucking thing about anything. And this is not a goddamn war. This is just a group of pigeons circling around the same piece of bread, wondering how to get into the goddamn bag and going, I know, we just eat the fucking bag. I can't fucking enjoy anything. Anything. I can't fucking enjoy anything. Because my world is surrounded by fucking idiots. My world is filled. And I am surrounded by fucking morons. That's why I can't fucking enjoy anything. My, my ability to enjoy just about fucking anything under the sun has been ruined. Has been fucking ruined. And now we have, we've given young people way too much fucking power and opportunity. To sit here and put their fucking voice out there. And talk like they have something worthwhile to say. They don't talk about anything fucking important, it seems like. At least, the popularized youth among us, the popularized youth among us, waste their time saying stupid fucking shit. Their brain is not formed well enough to, com to comprehend anything. Anything. It's like they were born stupid and will die stupid. That's what it fucking tells. That's what I'm made to think. Every goddamn time a stupid person makes a TikTok video or makes a fucking YouTube video or gets on Twitch and goes on about some shit or just any fucking place, gets on Facebook or gets on Twitter, gets on fucking Tumblr, gets on AOL.net, wherever the fuck they gotta go to waste their goddamn time and show us they shouldn't be fucking talking in the goddamn first place. We are bogged down by people that talk way too fucking much while not having really any processing power in here to speak on. Yes, pansexuality in all actuality means attraction to all things, including the dead. Do you get it now? Do you understand why I'm so fucking frustrated? No? Yes? Oh, I would be pleasantly surprised to hear someone say yes. That would really just make me and my day just go well together like peanut butter and arsenic. I wanted to sit down and enjoy a nice meal after work. I wanted to watch a video that could shed light, shed light on a topic that has confounded people for far too fucking long somehow. Excuse me, this is proof. This fucking video, 
This goddamn video is proof that people don't know how to fucking Google anything. Because Matt Walsh would not even be able to comment on this if people just Googled shit. Look at this fucking idiot right here. This one right here. And she's dancing like a fucking idiot. She's got her own shithead lyrics. And she's probably- I'm not playing this shit. I'm not putting up with a fucking loser dancing in front of me. Oh my god, people, stop fucking dancing. Your dance moves are shit. You sing about bullshit when you fucking approach a situation in the way that this person does. Stop. Because you do not know what you are fucking talking about. Yes. Yes. This is. Yes. Yes. This is. The actual definition. I wouldn't write it if it was bullshit. I refrain from bullshitting you. I refrain. And you cannot dispute this. You cannot dispute this in any way, shape, or form. You can't tell me you can change the definition either. Because then if that's the case, then conservatives across the country could change the definition of homosexuality, couldn't they? Yes, they could. That's why you don't try to pose to me this idea that the definition should change. Because then, and this is why we don't, we don't impose, we don't enact freedom of speech violations as laws and go about it like it's an okay thing. Because the more you find yourself an opportunity to undress, unfurl something that is ironclad, like freedom of speech or a simple definition, people will find more and more to do that to, and they've been doing that for the longest fucking time. Listen to me. This is the definition. This is the definition of pansexuality. This is the definition of pansexuality. This is. I've done my fucking research. All you've done is look at a TikTok video. And oh, that's exactly what that means. Bisexuality and pansexuality, they just it's just all semantics. It's just all fucking semantics. It's not the same thing, because I worded it differently when I said it the second time. No. Are you awake in there? I almost just spilled my food on me. Are you awake in there? Pansexuality. Pansexuality. Listen to me. Pansexuality. The act right here. I'm not kidding with you. I don't have time to kid with you. Pansexuality means an attraction to everything. Everything. This is not a hard thing to understand. This is not a hard thing to understand. Why the, why the fuck do I have to explain that this isn't a hard thing to understand to you? Because you didn't know? Well, that's fine. That's fine. Because it seems no one else fucking knows either. Except for me. My fucking chest hurts. But it's probably my fault because I've been smoking cigarettes. And I shouldn't have been. But sometimes you just break down, man. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's just what that, that is. You just break down. I read my comment. I'm going to say a few things and I'm going to go and upload this video. The actual definition of pansexuality, having an attraction to all things, including the dead, which means, of course, pansexuals are, in fact, attracted to pans. It cannot be disputed because you can't change the definition of a sexuality or you'll be found guilty of attempting to invalidate someone else's identity. People are real strong and up in arms over the idea of identity being validated. Not only is it not wise to try changing something to make yourself feel more comfortable, something like a definition, not only is that the case, if you change the definition of pansexuality from what it actually is to something else, conservatives 
Republicans can change the definition of homosexuality. That's how that works. And you better be you better be ready for when 4chan changes the definition of lesbian and lesbianism. You best be fucking ready. Because the instant you try to change the definition of a sexuality is the instant the internet turns the LGBTQ movement into one that only supports pedophiles and rapists and serial murderers. If you could just change the definition to a sexuality, that's a full on war. Not for me, not with me. I could care less. You guys, you go ahead and you change definitions of shit because of how stupid you are. Because you are a fucking idiot. If you think you could just change the definition. No, you are. There's no disputing this. You are without a doubt a fucking idiot. If you think that you can just do that. I don't care. Prove me right. Prove me right just as you've been doing all these years. Prove me fucking right. Please. Another notch in my belt, please. I'll have a, 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 a notch in my belt and make it super size. You don't want me to be right again. I typically don't like to be right, but let me tell you. You make me right this time. If you were to do that, you would be fucking yourselves over big time. And let me just remind you or inform you that uh, when uh, transgenderism was taken off the, the mental illness, the list of mental illnesses, the transgendered among us, they lost uh, the right to some free healthcare services. Yes, you heard that right. When transgenderism was taken off the list of mental illnesses, services that were previously free, no cost, because it was a mental illness, considered one according to a list, because it's no longer considered a mental illness, According to that list, some services that were free, some medical services, now cost them money. And you did it to yourself. Because you could not fucking help yourself. You're a dumb fuck in a sea of other dumb fucks. And you need to shut your fucking mouth and expire for good. You do nothing but damage. You think... You can talk your way out of any goddamn situation and change a situation the way you want it to be changed. You think you can just fucking do that without consequence. Systems are in place for a reason. It's referred to as a mental illness for a fucking reason. And when you change that, you only did damage to yourself. No one actually agrees with you on what transgenderism is. Because your definition of what it is and how we should view it is totally opposite reality. Totally opposite reality. Because you have a vanity problem and you want the world to be perfect for you specifically. Because you're a selfish, entitled piece of shit. You do more damage than you realize and you need to stop. Log out. Log out. Clock out. Expire. Pass away. Cease to exist. Enter stasis for an eternity. Go somewhere where no one can hear you scream. Go somewhere where no one can hear you scream or cry. No one needs to know you exist as you do because you are a damaged, worthless piece of shit who does nothing but damage everything around themselves. You damage everything around you and then smile and then when you realize what you've done, you don't blame yourself. Instead, you cry and you call for more things to happen that only make the situation fucking worse. People are fucking stupid. These, all these people in this gender conversation thing, they're all fucking stupid. 
Specifically, the four, the four, five, however many fucking people Matt Walsh showed us. All fucking idiots. They should not be talking about shit that they don't understand. And stop pretending that you understand when you fucking don't. I have had enough of you opening your mouth when it should stay the fuck closed. You worthless fucking idiot. Do me a favor. Go to, go to school. Go to school for once. Go to school for once. And stay there. And don't fucking come out until we don't recognize you anymore.